Hey guys, welcome back. My name's Stu, and this is Autumn Cove for Roller Coaster Tycoon Classic, another scenario from Terra Hank. A small park was recently built along the beautiful Autumn Cove. You were called upon to improve the park and achieve international fame. Your objective to have at least 2,000 guests in your park at the end of October year 4, with a park rating of at least 600. Oh, quite a big park then. Firstly, if my voice is sounding a bit weird, it's because I've been ill the last week, had a, had a bit of a sore throat. So if you notice any weird edits or things like that, it's probably because I've stopped to take a sip of tea um, or maybe to edit out a cough or something like that. Um, but I'm, I'm feeling better now. Thanks for asking. Okay, then. So we are. We've got free entry, so we're charging for the rides. We've got a boat right there without a track, so we're going to have to change that. Um, we've got a mine ride just over here going off and out there. I don't like that. Um, I don't see the point of it doing that when you've got all this land up, up, up here being left empty. Um, down here then. Oh, yeah, that's not a nice looking bobsleigh. Let's check out the stats on them. Decent enough. So I think what we'll do, since we're charging for rides, and we've got 125 guests in the park already, I will put those up to £10 in order to get some money in whilst I do other things. So let's have a look to see what rides we've got to begin with. We've got transport rides. We've got not a great selection of gentle rides. We've got a few coasters to begin with. A twist. Um, hmm, and another great selection of shops and stalls. Okay, so first things first then. Um, we're going to put our research into shops and stalls because I want to get a kiosk. So we'll leave that in until we get the kiosk and then we'll look at something else, probably thrill rides. But for nosies, I think what we'll do is we'll put down the flat rides that we've got. Um, and the gentle rides that we've got build out a nice starting area here um at least as i said until we get the kiosk out assuming it does come out and then we can look at rejigging the coasters because i don't like the coasters as they are i think we can do a better job april year one we've got the kiosk so now we're researching thrill rides We've got a carousel just there, twist, and we've got one of these truck rides, and we didn't make the mistake that we made on a previous scenario where we didn't have it long enough. So these have got decent stats. It's called Long Distance Clara. I'm not going to explain the reference to you. You're either of a certain vintage and from the UK, and you're in name Long Distance Clara. I purposely paused after that because if you are of that certain vintage, every time I say long distance Clara, you will hear a guitar playing in your head. I'm not going to explain it. Maybe I'll drop a link in the video description to explain it, but I'm not going to explain it. Okay, so yeah, we've got a nice little starting area just here, and that's what basically what we're going to go for. It's going to rain, so we're going to benefit from the umbrella cash. Um, we are going to change these out on the sides um but i think we've got a really good start at the moment so as long as we continue in this vein i think we'll be all right and then we are going to make use of the land around here we're going to have to bridge over to some of those areas but yeah this is shaping up to be a good looking park if i do say so myself October year one, 600 guests in the park we need 2000 by the end of october year 4 and we've got our first roller coaster down. I say our first, just the first one we built. The two that we are already, we are renaming and rejigging and all that nonsense. So this one's called Rusty. Decent stats on that. I flooded the area just below, give some extra interactions with the track as well, plus the shape of the land. It just looked like it would probably flood. Um, some little buildings around the place, some nice little seating areas as well, just under there. I think it's looking pretty cool. Just over in this corner then, we've got a launch tower called Updraft. Decent stats on that. You don't have to go over the top, building them too tall. Guess I'm loving that. And we've rejigged 
the mine train coaster. So it comes out of the station and it goes around and about a bit, got a little underground section as well, and then back. There you go. Great stats. And we're not using up loads of this space over the water as well. But we've left enough room for maybe some interactions in future. Who knows? Okay, let's have a look at the other side of the park then. We need to do something about this. I don't like it. Guests seem to like it, look, but I don't like it at all. October, year two, and we've rejigged the bobsleigh coaster. We're calling it Whistler. See some stats on that. So we researched all the thrill rides. After that, I researched a few gentle rides, a few more shops, and then for the end of the year then, I've switched my research into roller coasters. So that's what we're going to research from now on. So we've got a go-kart track interacting with the bobsleigh coaster as well. My stats on that. Haunted house just there, very simple maze. We've got a motion simulator. We've got a couple of pirate ships just down there. Ferris wheel with a bridge going across to this side. And a simple path loop. Toilets and kiosks on corners, another bridge coming back to there, so we've got some room for expansion just down there, and then across here then, we've seen this area, at some point we are going to have a path coming down here, and then we're going to go over to this side, and then we are going to build down and link back over to here, um, possibly have another bridge maybe connecting this bit over to the main bit i'm not sure yet but we are going to need to do that because otherwise what's going to happen is guests are going to be over one side and they're going to want to go over somewhere over there and they're going to get lost and stuck so we are going to have to be very careful with the way we plan our pathing out because we don't want that at all so anyway we've got almost 1100 guests we've got the green arrow so we're doing well we only need 2,000 by the end of October year four. So we're halfway, more than halfway there. We're about halfway through the scenario as well. So we'd be fine, especially since we're going to concentrate on coasters. And we haven't been full on building either. We've been concentrating on doing scenery and, and making the place look pretty as well. So this should be fine. This should be fine. We'll concentrate on making stuff. I need still need to do a track for this boat ride. I haven't forgotten. Um, so as long as we just concentrate on building nice coasters with some nice scenery, I think we'll be fine. October, year three. Almost 1,500 guests in the park. So about three quarters of the way through the scenario with about three quarters of the way to the goal. And over in this corner then, we've got a nice big wooden coaster called The Fall because... Autumn Cove, and, and some people call Autumn Fall. Um, yeah, let's have a look at the stats again. Decent stats, look at that, lovely. Yeah, so it just comes out. A few little airtime hills, splash there in the water, photo section. Um, I don't really like S-Bends, but, you know, I didn't want to have to alter the, the go-karts. Nice long chain lift up, down and around and, and back. And just over the bridge there and then flips over a little splash at the end which acts as a nice break and then it breaks down and ruins the video cool yeah and then just over here then we've got wild mouse not quite sure what i was thinking of when i named it that um yeah and then we got a 3d cinema and we've got the bridge then that leads us over to this part of the park, this corner where we've got a very simple corkscrew called Billabong. I always wondered what, what a Billabong was. I knew obviously it was an Australian word. I looked it up. It's literally just like the Aboriginal word for Oxbow Lake. So not really that interesting, I suppose. Um, so yeah, simple design just shoots you out into a bat wing and then a corkscrew over the station and back via 
by the photo section and then another bridge just over here where we've got a side friction coaster called friction decent enough stats honestly it's like i keep saying if you can build a coaster in five minutes with about five excitement i know it's not five excitement it's fine it's close enough that you can charge about five pound for then you know then you've got the game sewn up because that's literally all it takes for the bulk of the scenarios and then we've got the classic design here long time viewers will recognize it it's called loops good stats on that um so we've seen that bridge then we've got another motion simulator just down there and then we've got another junction kiosk and toilets on it with bridge going back over to that side bridge coming back over to the start and long distance clara took a pause there some of you will be hearing it and then over here then we've got mini flyers mini suspended flying thingy coaster decent stats on that interacting nicely with the mine train as that boosted the stats yeah, maybe a little yes yeah, park's looking pretty good so i've got lots of space for coasters because i've created space for myself look let's turn off scenery so look at this path loop by here I've got space on the outside. I've got space on the inside. Um, I've got space down here to put something. We got space there. Maybe I could put something there. I don't know how much we're going to need because we've got, you know, nearly 1500. And we usually get a bit of a bounce. So we're in like the seven months. So. I wouldn't have thought we we're going to need that many more coasters, but we're not going to slack off. We're going to keep on building. But I am mindful of the fact we haven't got any fences down. Well, we've got some, but the bulk of the parbin hasn't got any fences. So we're going to have to do some fencing. October, year four, and we've got a little over 2,000 guests. We need 2,000. So as long as we don't lose all these guests, in the next few weeks, we are going to pass the scenario. So I stopped building around, or building rides, I should say, around all August. Um, we were about 1,800 guests. And um, so I've just let the natural game sort of pump guests in. Because as I said, we usually get a nice boost of guests around the summer months. And we're doing all right. We've got the green arrow, so it should keep going up. The, the rain isn't helping. And then, uh, okay, so. First new ride then, looping coaster, just down here, not far from the start. So it comes up, drops down, two loops, over the bridge, another two loops, back over the bridge, and then back with some little twists and turns, and then back to the station. I did fiddle around with this a few times because I built it and then it wasn't centered. And then I, I rejigged it and it still wasn't quite right. So I, I rejigged it again. Um, yeah, at this point, it's fine. It's good enough. Um, we've seen that. And then we've got this oh, uh, wooden wild mouse by here called Mouse Boat. And I realize now I've already done this joke in a recent video. Blissful Brook, was it? I did it. But it's not the same coaster. Obviously, it's a completely different one. But same coaster type, I think. Just the uh, same name. Looks good, though. decent stats and then over here then inverted coaster it's called inverted great because it's an inverted coaster and it's great decent stats so comes out oh there you go on time comes out Look at the way that there's only a few guests on it and they've all gone on the back row corkscrew inline twist another corkscrew round the bend and we just but you know it's nice another inline twist up the chain left. Well, that spoils things, isn't it? It's just broken down. 
Okay, let's pretend it didn't break down. Up the chain lift, chugga 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 down over the corkscrew around the bend, break, run back to the station. Cool. Yeah. Um. Let's have a look then. What else have we done? We've seen that. We've seen that. We've been doing, as I said, doing all the fences and things. A couple of suspended swinging. No, swinging. What are they called? Swinging inverter ships. There you go. Swan boats just there. We've seen these. It's going to rain again. Thunder, lightning. Very, very frightening. I need a cough, so we're going to take a quick pause. Okay, so, yeah, quick cough, quick sip of the tea, and we're back. Okay, so, first thing we did then, we came in, we built this little starting section. After researching shops, we got out the kiosk, and then we went into researching thrill rides. And then, after we did this bit then, we did the, gen uh, the junior coaster just over here. Then we rejigged the mine train coaster in this corner, and then the bobsleigh in that corner then we started filling out the sections and building some power of loops over to the previously inaccessible parts of the park they're not islands but considering we don't own the land around the outside they might as well be for us and then after that then we started researching roller coasters Woo! and we've done it Stoo! and it's just a case of building roller coasters pretty much non-stop although we are trying to get them pop 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 no pop scenery trying to get them looking good with the scenery um yeah so i enjoyed this one so uh, it was quite nice i mean 2000 might sound like and this one's broken down it might sound like a bit of a goal but it wasn't you know i mean we did it whilst making the park look pretty so if we didn't spend all that time on the little bits of scenery and things like that, we'd have had way more guests. Um, one thing I probably haven't said is that we're halfway through. I put all the flat rides down to free. Um, I've mentioned it before so many times, though, is that... Oh, hang on, what cost is that? Oh, that was the vertical drop called Shazbot. Do you know what that's from? Do you know what Shazbot is? Mork and Mindy reference. Um, is that... If you look at the profit we're making off these coasters, thousands and thousands, then what's the point in earning tens or hundreds off the flat rides? My, my thinking behind it is, you might as well just make them free so that the guests that are on the in the park that are running out of cash can go on something rather than rather than getting them to leave and then you've got to get another guest to cut to be spawned in order to replace the one that's just left plus another one to be spawned just to get one more so it's that like that saying you know one guest in the hand is worth two in the bush or something yeah so makes sense um i suppose um but yeah so this was autumn cove i've been still i'm i'm a little bit delirious from from the fever i've got to be got to be honest um hopefully i'll edit out all the coughing and spluttering in the video um but yeah if you enjoyed the video Please like and subscribe. Any comments or feedback, drop them below. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye.